TV. Today is the 22nd of February uh, 2023. Remember guys to like, share, comment and follow and uh, turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss any of our new uploads that we do upload here. And uh, so uh, President uh, Emerson Nangagwa has declared the names and boundaries of the words the House of the Assembly and Senatorial constituencies after the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission ZEC made its final determination. The new names and boundaries which shall be used in the forthcoming and any subsequent general election were considered late on Monday. Constituency boundaries used in recent elections have since been reconfigured and uh, renamed in the latest delimitation report. The new constituency and what boundaries set were informed by population densities, geographic considerations and the details of the country's constitution, they handed over the delimitation report to President Mnangagwa last Friday before it was considered on Monday in fulfillment of the constitution which prescribes that it be considered within 14 days. Apart from population densities, other considerations in the delimitation exercise were physical features and means of communication and com communities of interest. This resulted in some former commercial farms being converted into peri-urban areas while some communal areas, especially those that border urban areas, were converted from their former description to urban or peri-urban areas. The national constitution stipulates that ZEC must divide Zimbabwe into 210 constituencies for the purposes of electing members of parliament. To achieve this, the total number of registered voters, which was 5,804,376 at the time of the delimitation, was divided by 210 constituencies. According to ZEC, that process added a national average of 27,670 uh, registered voters per constituency, a figure that satisfies Section 1613 of the Constitution, which states that the boundaries of constituencies must be such that so far as possible at the time of the limitation equal numbers of voters are registered in each constituency within Zimbabwe. Thus, the limitation must ensure equality of voting strength in each constituency. From a practical point, it is not possible to have an equal number of registered voters in each constituency since the population is not uniformly distributed across the country due to factors such as physical factors, land use, migration, etc. The constitution recognizes the impracticability of having an equal number of voters in each constituency by allowing the commission to depart from this requirement within a stipulated margin. In this case, the constitution stipulates that no constituency may have more than 20% more or fewer registered voters than other such constituency. The constitution also lists factors that need to be considered when delimiting uh, since uh, they are important during the exercise. Based on the provision of SI 1616, ZEC then calculated the 20% deviation uh, from the national average voter registration. Statutory instrument 14 of 2023 is expected in each constituency, which was 27,640 registered voters. The formula added a division of 5,528 voters, and since the average of number of registered voters were, was regarded as a stable benchmark against which the limitation of constituency was conducted, the deviation figure was added to the national average to determine the maximum number of registered voters that a constituency limited would contain 33,168. In construct, the deviation figure was subtracted from the national average to determine the minimum number of allowed registered voters per constituency. This added a minimum of 22,112 voters that's based on the provisions of S161-6 any constituency delimited in Zimbabwe was expected to fall within the minimum and maximum thresholds, this the delimitation report in part. That resulted in some constituency that did not meet the minimum threshold being collapsed while in some areas that had a huge number of registered voters, more constituencies were created. For instance, in Harare metropolitan province, in view of the 952,102 registered voters at the time of the delimitation exercise, the province which contains the capital city, Shitungwiza and Epworth, now has three new constituencies. These were created from Harare South constituency, namely Churu, Harare South and Winyani. An additional constituency was created in Epworth, resulting in Epworth North 
and Airport South constituencies, Harare North was reconfigured and renamed to Hedcliffe constituency. Blair Province is a registered num- uh, voter population of 270,938. And seven constituencies were reconfigured and renamed as follows Blair North, Codray Park, Emma Kandeni, Luveve, Etumbane, Jube, Lobengula, Magwegwe, Popoma, Mzlikazi, and Pelanda, Shabalala. In Manikaland province, which has 738,624 registered voters, the constituency of Musikawan and Chipingo West were merged to create a Chipinge West constituency, while a collapsed constituency formed the Chikanga constituency after Dangamvura Chikanga was split due to high population. Three constituencies of Chikomba Central, Chikomba East and Chikomba West in Mashaland East Province have since been reconfigured due to a low registered voter population with Chikomba Central being removed leaving Chikomba East and West. The province had a registered voter population of 641,668. The same method was used in Mashungo Province which had 632,320 voters where Gutu North was collapsed and merged with the other existing constituency due to a low registered voter population which failed to meet the minimum threshold for a constituency. However, the collapsed constituency was replaced by the creation of the new Chirezi Central constituency. In the same vein, Zaka East and Zaka West were collapsed and reconfigured to form a new Zaka South constituency. One of the collapsed constituency was replaced by the creation of a new Mwenezi North constituency. Therefore, Mashungo province retained its previous allocated 28 constituencies. In Matabalan South, which has 267,617 registered voters, the province had low numbers of registered voters and was allocated 12 constituency after Bulilima East was collapsed to meet the minimum threshold. In Midlands province, where there were 762,928 voters, Berengwa South constituency was collapsed and three constituencies remain, namely Berengwa East, Berengwa West and Berengwa Central. The collapsed constituency was replaced by the creation of a new Koba North constituency in the same province. Arare Metropolitan Province had to be allocated 30 constituencies due to the high number of registered voters. The province could not maintain the previous 29 constituencies without compromising the 20% allowable maximum threshold. Madeblin South Province was allocated 12 constituencies due to the low number of registered voters and could not maintain the previous 13 constituencies without compromising the 20% allowable minimum threshold. In general, no voters were moved from their polling stations. Registered voters in each ward and constituency will vote as their usual polling stations, although their ward number or name of constituency may have changed. The constitution provides that one every 10 years on a date or within a period fixed by ZEC, so as to fall as soon as possible after population census. The commission must conduct a delimitation of the electoral boundaries in, into which Zimbabwe is to be divided. The last delimitation was conducted in 2007-2008 and resulted in the drawing of 210 House of Assembly constituencies, 60 senatorial constituencies and 1,958 local authority wards. The delimited electoral boundaries remained in use during the 2008-2013 and 2018 harmonized elections. However, due to population dynamics and changes in land use since the last delimitation exercise, there has been a growing need for constituencies and ones to be redrawn to respond to the changes. So, guys, that's the latest. That's the latest. And so, uh, this is a major factor from elections that are July, August. And yes, I mean, um, every political party, as we speak right now, they are busy, busy, busy uh, looking at this uh, delimitation report. It's very important to know Kuti Jimbo Zaka Zaka Chini Wane Zipi is my ones, my areas, my province, like I said, I said, I said, I said, and remember, it's always about numbers, but I had the main elections, and so many people uh, did register to vote in some provinces, but other provinces, a low number of people registered to vote. So I said, you know, I don't want to go to the vote, but I don't want to go to the vote, but I don't want to go to the vote, so there's no need to complain, because uh, many people didn't bother to even go and register to vote. Three plus, three plus, Plus million people, Zimbabweans, are not registered to vote yet. And uh, Saga, we can't complain. Last time it's a voter or not a Saga voter. And uh, Saga, it's not going to change anything. At the same time, uh, your vote was needed. 
kuchukua security za kufuta so that you can vote in elections that kuya and kasaka many people always want to complain and blame zeke of saying zeke kubidira zeke kuchinja ma number but wakashati sasa mune aringa sato mbori jisa kufuta and have more voters ro but basa dirungo kumblen na pa social media and it's not gonna help your political party that you like kuti win in elections but isne we'll be keeping you guys up to date with the latest here on daily news breaking news on prince man and the tv Thank you for listening and watching. Listen.